Hey gang, what's up? Hope everybody out there is having a good day and welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Down here to the creek today with Elijah. He likes to come down after school a couple days a week, so bring him down here and let him hang out and look at everything and use his boat a little bit. Today's video, what I want to talk about is rocks. Just a general conversation on rocks and bass fishing. I'm going to sort of give you guys a broad overview of it. Uh, this is one topic that we might do one of those hour-long seminars at some point. But I just wanted to give you guys sort of an overview if, uh, you know, doesn't matter if you just started in bass fishing or if you've been bass fishing a while, I'll share with you guys some things I've sort of figured out and have uh, discovered in fishing for bass all these years. But rock is a key element to, for bass cover in almost any lake that has it out there. And depending upon the lake that you're in, you're going to have a lot of different rock compositions unless you're down south. Now, if you if you fish the southern part of the United States, uh, rock sort of gives away to sand a little bit and you don't have the rock playing the predominant role that it does in the man-made impoundments and up north quite so much. But specifically, I wanna talk about rock in man-made impoundments because that's where you have your biggest diversity in your rock cover in there. So what you have on there is the, the rock compositions have a lot to do, as far as the best bass fishing rock compositions have a lot to do with the combination of the bank angle and the water visibility in correlation with that. And there's not, you can't just say that this is the best type of rock to fish or you need to fish this type of rock. Bass, they specifically get on different types of rock based upon a wide range of variables. It can be wind, it can be sunlight conditions, it can be water visibility, it can be water temperature. There's not a single type of rock composition that the bass won't use at some period of the year. Sometimes it's gravelly rock, sometimes it's pea gravel, sometimes it's sort of, you know, baseball size rock, sometimes it's, you know, it's boulder rock, sometimes it's bluff, you know, like cliff type rock, variation with that. But one thing that you're going to find out about rock uh, almost exclusively is the best areas are on any type of rock transition. This is a pretty well-known common aspect in bass fishing. So if you're fishing an area you know, where you're fishing rocky banks or whatever, pay close attention to any type of irregular feature or rock transitions within those areas. Those are always gonna be high percentage areas. So if you're fishing down a bank that's got a fairly uniform stretch of rock and then all of a sudden your bank angle changes or your rock size changes, just slow up a little bit, make multiple casts on those areas because bass like to use those irregular features. Another thing with this I found out is the size of rock has a lot to do with uh, the time of year you're fishing, which is better, and the combination of the water clarity at the time of the year. In general, what I like to fish is I like to fish smaller rock um, in the winter time and the summer time. Say, for example, if I'm fishing a jerk bait in the winter time, I love pea gravel banks. Bass really get on those on those areas good. They like to suspend on them and use the bottom both. Same with like a small swim bait. And then the same in the summertime of the year, I love fishing gravelly type points and banks like with football head jigs and, you know, Carolina rigs, a little bit deeper type structure. Um, those are notoriously good at those times of years. One of the places that I found that's really good in the pre-spawn when that water temperature starts to warm up into the 50s is the steepest banks you can find. The bluffy type banks, the very steep channel banks are really good like in, you know, February to early April. Also, those same type of banks start to get good in the late fall, like in October, November, those steep banks get a little bit better. And uh, the rest of the time of year, I, it's just more of like a 45 degree angle bank uh, with mixed type rock on it. Now, a lot of it you can't say, I can't say, well, you need to fish basketball size rock or, or you know, tennis ball size rock, because every rock, every lake has a different composition, so not one size fits all. So just pay close attention, guys, to the size of the rock and the bank angle that you're fishing when you start catching a few fish and then try to duplicate that around there. So another couple of different things with fishing rock banks is um, the angle of your boat positioning has a lot to do with the slope of that bank. In general, when I'm fishing a rocky bank, I like to be parallel on it. I don't like to be fishing at a 45 degree angle or straight into it. Most of the time, I like to figure out where I think the fish are at and I make parallel casts down those rocky banks. Say for example, if the water visibility is 12 inches, uh, I, those fish are probably gonna be tighter to the bank, so I'm concentrating on that one to three foot zone. 
And if that water visibility is maybe four or five feet, I'm on those same rocky banks and I'm paralleling, but I may be paralleling and keeping the boat in five to 15 foot of water. So that's just a couple different elements there. So anyway, guys, just a, a few quick tips here, you know, playing with Elijah, hope that helps you guys out. Uh, it's just a real generic foundational tip, little video here. Uh, much appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll talk later. See you.